Hello everyone, this is Joshua DD9000 here, uh, back with a very special video for you all. In this video, I'm going to be basically doing a tutorial on how to install Cars Superdrive. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, wish everyone a happy new year. I know 2020 was a rough year for a lot of people, but I am praying that uh, 2021 will be a lot better, and I think it probably will. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started with the tutorial then. So, what Car Superdrive is, in a nutshell, is basically a fan-made mod of the um, Cars Mater National video game for the PC. Uh, in order to install this mod, what you'll first need is the actual Mater National PC game itself. You can download it from Steam. That's basically what I did. Now, next thing that you'll need to do is you'll have to locate your data PC folder. Now, what the data PC folder is basically just uh, the folder that contains all your data. So, the name basically speaks for itself. To access the data PC folder, you want to open your um, file explorer then you'll want to locate the hard drive in which you saved your um, I, not saved downloaded your cars international video game though so for me it's my Windows C next we're gonna do is click on Steam then click on Steam apps click on common and here we have a list of all the games that have for, for my uh, Steam account now here we see Made or National. We double click on that and we basically get the data PC folder. Uh, don't worry about any of this stuff here. The only thing you'll have to worry about is the data PC folder. Now, um, a helpful tip when um, moving, when dealing with these files is that um, you'll want, you may want to um, pin this to this folder, the Cars National folder, to the uh, quick access um, uh, tab, which is basically on the left hand here. This is basically the quick access uh, column. And the reason why you want to do that is because we're basically going to be um, moving folders from the Mater National uh, folder around. And it just makes it a lot easier because then you don't have to go through all of this stuff. It just It's just right there. You can quickly access it. So I'm going to go back and click in International. Here we have the data PC folder. Now what this data PC folder is, it's basically the folder that contains all the data for the original Cars International game, like all the characters, all the music, audio, graphics, all of that. Um, it's very important that you do not delete this. Do not delete this. Because if you delete this, you may have to uninstall the game from your Steam account and then reinstall it again, and that's no fun. But we are going to remove it, remove it and place it somewhere else. And to do that, we're just simply going to drag it, and um, we're going to basically going to just save it in a really important place. So, however you want to do that, you can save it on your desktop. For me, I'm just going to move it over to Pictures. Wait till that's done. Then I'm going to click on pictures and I basically have my own separate folder to move the data PC folder to. Uh, the folder that I moved it to was ca titled Cars Made International Mods. And here you can see all of my um, compressed uh, zip files for my um, Mayor National Mods. I'm going to show you all uh, where to download this. But I'm just going to simply remove this into my original Cars Made International data. And I'm just going to keep it in that folder. It's very important to stay organized just as a general rule. So the next step in a calling and a <laughs> excuse me, installing Cars Superdrive, you'll actually have to uh, download the mod itself. Now, in my file explorer, I um already have the um, car super drive mod downloaded you see four compressed zip files here um, the one that we're going to be installing specifically will be the cars super drive version 1923 uh, links in the description to the website but I'm going to go ahead and show you what that website looks like 
Um, I already have it saved in my um, uh, computer. It's basically the Cars Mayor National Superdrive fandom or wiki. And this is basically the website where you download your mods. Now, again, the version that we're going to be installing in this tutorial is going to be the 1923. Uh, you can simply download that version here. Now, this version specifically has a certain bug that causes problems, and that is basically the uh, brake lights. Uh, say, for example, you're playing with a character like Doc Hudson. The brake lights, uh, even during the daytime, are on. Uh, they do have a fix for that, and that's right here, the brake light bug fix. You can just simply click on that link and download it. Um, again, I'm not going to show you downloading it because I already have it downloaded on my PC. So... That's pretty much it. Uh, again, links in the description so that you can get quick access to the website. Next thing we're that we're going to do is we're going to uh, extract the uh, zip folder. The program that I use to extract to extract uh, these zip files is called 7-Zip. I don't think you, ha you have to have 7-Zip, but usually 7-Zip is the best way to um, extract files on for Windows. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can download it, but um, downloading it is not that hard. You can just Google it or whatever. So, yeah, we're just going to click on Extract Files. Click OK. Now, it's extracting the files right now. Uh, important tip, do not mess around with this folder until 7-Zip finishes extracting it. There are a lot, and I mean thousands, of different types of files consisted within this folder so it may take some time to extract it be very patient do not wait until this is completely finished but while we're waiting on that we might as well go ahead and take the break like bug fix a compressed zip folder right click that and extract the files now being that it doesn't really have that many files it'll finish doing what it's doing very quickly uh, now that we have extracted both the SuperDrive folder and the brake light bug fix, uh, we are going to take the data PC folder from this SuperDrive folder and simply drag it over to the Mater National folder. Now, um, before I do that, I just want to go ahead and state for the record that this there's another version of SuperDrive that I've recorded myself playing in the past. This is the uh, Mikelos Cutie version. I'm not sure where exactly you can download this mod from, but if I do figure out, I'll leave it in the description for you guys. The process for installing this version of the mod is pretty much the same as the original one from the Cars uh, fandom website. But um, with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and click on the SuperDrive folder. See this data PC folder here? We're just going to click that and drag it over to Mater National. And again, being a folder that has so many files in it, it will take some time. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit back, and while that's taking place, we're going to go ahead and click the butt break like uh, bug fix uh, folder. I click that folder again. See the C folder here? What you're going to do is you're going to click that and drag it over to the Mater National folder as well. Uh, as soon as, you know, the program has finished moving all the files from that one des destination to the next. We're going to take the C folder, move it over into the uh, data PC folder. While it's loading, a little window is going to pop up saying the destination has 48 files with the same names. We're just simply going to replace these files. Wait for that to finish loading. And just like that, we are done. We are ready to uh, fire up uh, Cars Mater National. Again, the uh, other version of Cars SuperDrive follows the same process. I don't know if the Bright Light Bug Fix would work for this other version of SuperDrive. I haven't tried that out, but you can always try it out uh, for yourself if you're ever so lucky to be able to get this version of the mod. I've always liked that um, intro that they did at the beginning for Superdrive. I thought it was pretty cool. 
Actually, I think the car is high octane. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's up to me. Now, um, right now we are at the um, load uh, profile page. Um, what you're going to need to do is click new game, but what I'm going to do is going to click uh, load game. The reason why I'm going to do that is because um, we'll have to create a new a separate profile for the SuperDrive mod, and the reason why you'll have to do that because if you look at this, this one titled JDD9000, that is the profile from the original Cars um, International game. So if I were to click that, the game would immediately crash because the data is not in there. So I would have to create a new, prile, new profile for the new data. And uh, I have already titled that one SuperDrive1. So I'm going to go ahead and click it, load that profile, and voila! SuperDrive is working just fine. You can go ahead and play it. Now, if you take a look at Doc Hudson, for example, which is the example that I use, you'll notice that the uh, brake light bug fix has been solved. The brake lights aren't on. Normally, if you didn't have the bug uh, fix uh, mod in here, those things would be, those brake lights would be on. See, works perfectly. Well guys, that basically concludes this tutorial on how to install Cars SuperDrive. Uh, there is another mod out there called Cars High Octane. I will be doing another video on that. However, I'd not, I'm not sure when I'll have it ready because I kind of have to... Um, it, it's been a long time since I've um, installed it, so I would have to... Plus there are a bunch of um, other features that you can sort of add in there and switch out. I have to refresh myself on how to do that before I make another tutorial. So I'm not sure when it will come out, but it will come out eventually, that I promise you. By the way, I hope this video was very um, helpful. Um, if it was, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comment section. And in case you didn't find this uh, video helpful, please uh, leave some respectful a criticism in the comment section so that I can improve it for the next one. Otherwise, this is Joshua DD9000 signing off, saying goodbye, and as always, thank you for watching.